what's up everyone this is tech cloud here and in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect your ps3 controller which is also called six axis controller with your uh, sony phones especially sony xperia z sony xperia z ultra and sony xperia z1 the good thing is that you can pair this controller using the bluetooth you, you don't need a cable you only need a cable for once just like uh, for ps3 you need a cable once to pair your uh, PS3 controller with your PS3 and same is true for this uh, mobile phone as well you just need one the cable once to pair the controller with your mobile and that's it Let, and uh, forever if you don't change the pairing forever this controller will work with the, your Sony phone so uh, for that I'm using the same USB OTG cable that I have used uh, in my previous videos. This is the Samsung USB OTG cable. If you haven't watched uh, those videos, then please uh, go watch and uh, you will find uh, some very helpful tips in those videos. So all you have to do here is nothing much. You have to pick up your uh, PS3 controller and you need one more cable, which is basically a, a standard uh, PS3 cable which connect your PS3 controller with your PS3 which is a mini USB to USB cable you just need that one so this is the cable that I'm talking about the mini USB to full USB cable so connect the USB regular USB part with your USB OTG cable let me connect yeah and uh, the other part which is the mini USB cable you have to connect with your PS3 controller but before I do that uh, let me show you what else is needed for that you have to go to the settings and then go to Xperia connectivity and then go to DualShock 3 wireless controller so as I click this one the next it says how to connect a controller click on this one and now connect the PS3 controller using this cable let me connect so as soon as I connect the cable it says uh, controller connected um, you can see at the top and also now the next button is enabled click uh, the next button and it says uh, connecting DualShock 3 wireless controller so now it's pairing through Bluetooth and as you can see it has automatically turned on the Bluetooth on the mobile phone so I can uh, now uh, remove the cable and it's connected through Bluetooth because uh, the wire is sli still plugged in it says battery state is charging so now it's charging through the mobile so it's better to remove the cable so that uh, it does not drain the battery of the mobile phone now you can see the light has become steady before it was blinking because it was charging now it's uh, the light is steady because it is connected through Bluetooth and uh, let's try to play a game with the controller support so so that we can see whether this controller is working properly or not so I have removed the cable and let's play a game I've already uh, installed the dead trigger and it does support the wireless gamepad so let's try this game the game does support the gamepad however the keys needs to be set it up so let me set it up and i will be back in a minute so i have uh, set up the keys and uh, i'm back so let's play some uh, game just to see whether the controller is working So guys as you can see here I'm playing using uh, this controller so guys this is how you can set up your uh, PS3 controller for any games that uh, does support this 
and uh, that's a very cool way to play this game because all such games they work much better than the control with the controller So without this controller I must have uh, died already but now not only I'm alive but I'm going to finish this level so mission success and uh, if you have liked this video and then please press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to watch further videos like that and uh, i hope you have you have liked it thanks for watching see you later bye